This is the watch list video for Wednesday, December 21st. Um, real quick, if you're watching this video and it just came out, um, I'm making it almost 6 o'clock on Tuesday night, December 20th. You probably have till 6.30 um, to register if you haven't registered for our webinar tonight, which is 7.30. So, um, you know, go to my Twitter feed, at Great Stock Picks. That's with, ending with an X, G-R-E-A-T-S-T-O-C-K-P-I-X. Um, and there'll be a link in my thread to the webinar. We're going to be talking about trading, entering at inflection points. So you're green immediately. Um, the single most important adjustment probably that I ever made to my trading really, really improved my win ratio. Um, and it's a great way to start a trade is green, right? Okay, so um, looking forward to that. We have a huge, uh, huge crowd coming. So bring your scotch on the rocks or whatever it is you drink and we'll have some fun tonight. And um, we hope to pass along some uh, some good trading tips. Uh, whenever we, I don't know, discover something or realize that XYZ has really improved my trading, we try to pass that along to young traders, um, you know, to maybe help them from uh, doing some of the stupid stuff we did along the way. All right. So um, hope to see you there tonight. I babbled long enough about that. Just showing you the spy here. Incredibly narrow range the past two sessions. Um, why? Uh, today's December 20th is why. Uh, we've got five days till Christmas, um, and so it's really dead. You know, As a matter of fact, I didn't trade today. I never even turned on my computer. Um, I was out doing family stuff, pre-holiday, pre-Christmas family stuff, and I think most people are. So um, it's really thin out there, right? Spreads are nasty. So you know, I'm not that excited about tonight's list because I'm not that excited. I'm not putting a lot of money to work um, the rest of the year. So, uh, But hopefully I can catch a couple nice trades, right? So let's glance at, uh, you know what's weird? I'm starting this video with APTO and for some reason, my chart won't show what happened today. I have to look at the 15 minute chart. See how I closed at $1.50 there? When you go to 15s, you can see this from here to here is what happened today. Every once in a while, uh, these e-signal charts, they don't, on random symbols, they don't pick up today's trading. Um, so it's a little weird. So I don't know exactly what this looks like on the daily, but I have an idea. Um, and I'm just going to watch it for, you know, because we had this huge pop back here and then a lower high yesterday and then today another lower high. Um, for me, it's still setting up. But I apologize that my chart isn't showing today's candle. OK, so it just goes on, you know, potential long watch for tomorrow if it meets our intraday parameters. CLVS had this big spike two sessions ago and then an inside day today. So, I mean, it's interesting over uh, over 43 bucks, which is what today's high was. Maybe a different entry if it sets up, um, you know, on an intraday basis and gives us maybe a, a flag below. Um, all my charts are going black right now. There's something really weird going on. Okay, anyway, if this gives us some sort of flag below 43, um, and then we might be able to get in a flag break, right, at a better price than that 43 break. And it might not set up at all. So keep that in mind. Um, CLVS, let's go GSAT. And, Another inside day. I had the big pop yesterday and then today an inside day. Um, I like it over 147 over today's high. It might just revisit that 160, maybe break out through it. ESEA uh, had this huge pop when dry ships popped the other day and now three days lower on declining volume. This is actually a really good setup for a potential mini squeeze tomorrow on an intraday basis, but only with the proper setup. BCLI, um, you had the you know, big pop. And then a secondary pop and then the gap up and now two days lower. So, um, you know, I probably think so. I'd like to see it touch the eight day at least, but this one might just turn back up tomorrow. It goes on watch. HMNY, pretty obscure because, again, holiday trading. I mean, look how dead this thing was after you get all these big spikes. Had this uh, big intraday spike yesterday, went to 586. And then today, and let me give you that range. That's from 449 to 586. So a good a big range for a $4 stock. Um, and then today its range was 30 cents. So that's the kind of, you know, holiday nonsense that you deal with when trying to trade stuff. But this one, if it does start to get some volume, right, if it gets news or something, you definitely want to try to jump in this thing early because it, it, it just makes these insane moves. Uh, you never want to bet the farm on something like that, though. Um, and then OPGN also had that huge spike and then a secondary spike, then a red day. So, you know, if you look at it like this, it looks like, okay, it's done. It's rolling back over. Well, and today held up pretty well. Um, again, I am not excited about this list at all because I'm not excited about trading uh, this thin market. Um, 
but it only takes one trade to make for a good day, right? Um, and I'll even be talking a little bit about that in the webinar tonight. So if you can't make the webinar or you, you, you can't, you, it's too late to register, whatever, um, or you did register and you can't make it, don't fret. Um, within a day or two, there'll be a link up um, where you can watch the recorded version, all right? So uh, enjoy your evening, guys, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.